Hello everyone, Debbie here. Welcome back to Barossa Valley Crafts. Today's kits are going to be using the um, May Gibbs Gumnut Babies. So we're going to be doing two cards um, and I'll show you how they are done. But they are both the same die cut. So in the kit you will get this base card already pre-cut and the um, base paper, the matte layers as well. And then you will get the little pictures that will need to be fussy cut to suit the card. So this will be the first one that we're going to be doing. So it looks like that when it's flat or like when you open it right out, it's like that. It's like that when it's closed and it will stand up like that. So it will look like that from the front when it's open. And the second card so you can see there how when they're closed, they close differently. So that's to show you can use the card in two different ways. So it looks like this when it's closed and this one when it's open will look like that and it will stand up. Oh, normally it will stand up. <laughs> Maybe I think I've got something on under the table which is making it a bit hard to stand. But anyway, it does stand up. I've just got to get it right. <laughs> but anyway, so that's the other one that we're going to be doing. Now, with this particular die set, this is a Studio Light die set. I have actually done another tutorial using these die sets. And I made these cards. So this is a Lavinia card that I have done. So I'm not having much luck getting them to stand today. So it looks like that, and that's it. And I also did it as a Christmas card. So I'll just, hopefully this one will stand for me. There we go. So you can decorate them to suit any occasion you like. And so if you want to, I will add the link on how I actually made these using this set of dies. So you can view that if you like. So let me show you how we've done this one. Okay, so to start off with, we're going to glue the um, papers onto the card, the uh, matte layers. So that one's going to go there, that one will go there, and this one will go here. So we'll just glue those on. I've already done the two little ones, only because I didn't want to lose them while I was preparing the kit for the tutorial okay so you can use double-sided adhesive if you prefer but I'm just using glue because it's quicker and yeah, somewhere on there. while I'm gluing these down I'll just let you know that uh, I do have a couple of Facebook groups one's called card making for beginners and beyond and the other one is called um, Barossa Valley Crafts so I'll add the links if you'd like to join. You're more than welcome. You can share your creations that you make with like-minded people. And we share hints, tips and ideas. All right, so that's... Just pop a little bit more glue there. I missed a bit of the base there. The uh, matte layer there. It's got it. Okay, so now I've got to finish fussy cutting out this piece. So I've already done the bulk of it to save a bit of time. Some people don't like fussing cutting, other people love it. Just make sure you've got a good pair of scissors. Trick to fussy cutting, move the paper, not the scissors. Gives you a better cut and you can get closer detail cut by moving the paper. Okay, nearly finished this one. I'm sure you don't want to sit here and watch me fussy cutting lots. That's why I do most of it beforehand. There we go. So now we're going to put this one here. Now, we're going to actually trim off the top of her um, gum leaf only because... It won't fit in an envelope if that's on there. So I'm just going to 
stick that on there. There we go. And this one, so we're going to fold the card. So that one will come forward, that one will go back. And it gives you an idea then to work out where you want it. So I found that this little gumnut top thing needs to be on the left hand side of that fold with her little fingers inside the circle. So we're going to glue up to about that point there. that on there push that into place and there's that one done so I may I suggest on the back stamp your uh, greetings on the back before you start the decorating so there's that one oh, I must have something under my table there it's stopping me from standing Try again. There we go. So there's that one from the top and from the front. From there, so with this one, I've just added bits of bling to it. So you can add some bling if you want to from your stash, just to give it a little bit of shine, or you can just leave it as it is. So there's that one. Now the other one, so I've already attached the backing papers to that. So this one I have folded the opposite way. So if you have a look, this one goes that way. And this one will go, um, hang on, I'll get it right in a minute, that way. So they're folded opposite. And you'll see why in a moment I've done it like that. So I'll just finish fussy cutting out this one. The um, gumnut baby papers are very popular and they're so cute. It'd be great little baby cards. Okay. So now with this one, I need to do it so that you have the top of the gumnut to the left of that fold. And her toes are also on the left of the fold. And we're only going to glue this part here. Don't glue around here. Otherwise, it'll stick to the front of the card. So I'm going to put my fingers there. I'll know just to glue in this part here. And we'll just pop that into place. Give it a good press. I mean, you could, if you wanted to, draw a line around here. And then you'll know, don't glue past that line. Okay. And there's that card done. Oh. Still having trouble standing it up. I had it standing before I did the tutorial. I don't know what's going on here. Let me move the paper and see if that makes a difference. Okay. There. <laughs> it was the paper. So there you go. So there's two cards with a little bit of fun. I might have to move... Oh no, that's right. So it'll go there. It's got it. So it'll sit like that when it's flat. Oh, I'm going to have to trim just a little bit away from there. Let's just 
catching the edge of the circle. A little bit more. I didn't place that one very well. There we go. That's got it. There we are. Now I still have to... Oh, I'll fix that up. I better fix it up now. Hey, even I can muck them up. Let's just trim that away. There. Now it's right. That's got it. There we are. Alrighty. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed those two cards. Uh, if you have, please do give me the thumbs up and um, please feel free to come and join us in the Facebook groups. Thank you for joining me. Bye.